Hi everyone, it's Natalie from NellyDesign.com. I just want to make this quick video to tell you about 7.11 version of Cricut Design Space. It has a big modification that will impact my videos, so I wanted to show you how it works. First of all, when we used to select an object in Cricut Design Space, we would have four icons in the corners of a text or uh, an object. So you would have the X to delete, the uh, a little circle like this to rotate, the arrow to scale, and the padlock to lock and unlock the design. So now it has changed and you will now have some handles and I want to show you how they work. So let's write the same text. If I write hello, first of all when you click on the text you'll see that it's all blue. Blue it means that it's selected. So if you don't touch anything you just go ahead and type something it will type your text and replace the word text. If you click on the outside, it will leave you the, the word text there. If you want to modify some uh, text, you need to double click in it to modify it. You double click and it becomes blue again. So if you don't touch anything and you just type your text, it will replace the word. But you can also come and place your cursor inside between the letters to write something else if you want. So if I go ahead and click outside, double click back in, it's blue. I'm going to write hello. And I'm going to click outside so that I see all the handles. These are the new handles that you will now have. So first of all, if you want to delete something, you can still use the little delete icon right here. You can use your delete key on your keyboard and you can also right click and click delete. So there's still three ways to delete something. And I really like that it's not there anymore because I used to delete a lot of things all the time by mistake. So I'm happy it's not there. <laughs> I don't have the little icon in the corner anymore. Next, let's talk about scale. So if you want to scale a word right now, you need to come in the corner and make the little arrows like this appear. And you'll be able to scale from each and every corner. So that's what it's cool. Usually we weren't able to do that. We were only able to scale from the bottom right corner. Now we're able to do it with every four corner and we can also rotate with every four corner if I go a little bit further you'll see instead of these arrow you'll see these arrows and they will enable you to rotate from this this every corner if you want to scale without keeping the proportion well you'll need to go here and click on the padlock it was there before it's still there so you can unlock the proportion come here and really scale your word as you used to so let me lock it again and these little handles will appear so you see these are the special handles that i really like uh, before if i double click in the word and if i try to say hello how are you well if you wanted to have multiple lines you needed to do enter how enter r u so let me scale that back a little bit so you see it and this is how you would make it on multiple lines but now you don't need to do that anymore. So let me go back. Hello. How are you? You can type it in one whole sentence and these handles will make it wrap. So if I go and close it like this, you can really put it in, in how many lines you want. So I don't know if you noticed, but while I did this, the box really uh, went all around the letters so it's going to enable you to really go and play around like this and if you scale the box like this and you have like space at the top at the bottom uh, you can go here into alignment and we used to have left center and right right here and it's still there so if you want to align center left or right it's still there but what you have now is that you can also align to top of the box and to bottom of the box and center. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And if you want to put it back on the line, you can really just stretch it like this. Or if you're like a little bit lazy, you can go wrap off and it will put it back to you on only one line. As for the shapes, it's really the same thing. It's even simpler because you don't have the side handles. You only have the corners. So it's the same thing. You want to scale it. You go like this. You want to rotate it. You go a little bit further. You can rotate. You want to unlock it. You go here to unlock and you can scale it wherever you want. So I'll just clarify things for you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.